Hello, good day, Bunners. It's me, Nerdy Bunny Bon, and this is... Crafty Foxy Nom and a Pumpkin. And a Pumpkin. And we're doing a whole, it's a mix whole. Um, I'm just going to say the names first. We went to Justice Disney Store and we went to Dollar Tree, so stay tuned. And take it away. You start. So, uh, we'll start off with the Justice bag, with the biggest ones, and... We went to Justice today, and this, we what we got is this huge fox plushie by the company Smushmallows, and her name is Autumn. And this is a description about Autumn. Autumn loves listening to music and playing the piano. Her friends love her playful personality. And so cute, and it's soft. so squeezable. It's soft. It kind of reminds me of the one I have on my bed that is squished under my pillow. Bob. Not Bob. Bob is there. somewhere else. The Bob is right there. Uh, so we need to go back for the bunny. Yeah. So this one is a lot bigger than Bob. It's it's very squishy. It's like a squishable pillow. That's what the company says that about their products. So that's this one. We'll put that one right back there. The second item I pull out of the bag. Da -da 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 -da, is a fox onesie and it has a detachable feetsies and a detachable tail and we can right find here. it <laughs> a detachable tail and then the hood and the hood is a fox as well so the color and it's a the thing justice and it's a from the sleepover shop so this is the but it's also very soft perfect for winter that's coming up yes and uh, this um, this other one that I pull out of the bag is a fox diary with a pom pom. I guess like it's a bookmark. It's not squishy. It's pretty hard, and it has a cover. You're gonna, you're gonna uh, pop it. <laughs> it has the keys right here, which is like a little hard. Oh, I just key. noticed it. It comes with a pen, a gel yeah. pen. It's a a metallic -y um gel pen, and the, it's soft and also it has glitter and we'll, so like that you can open it yep and we'll ha and we'll scissors dangerous. scissors to the rescue yes i say like that so let me hold on hold on let me so these are the little keys they're little heart keys and they open up the diary so this is the lock it's a cute little heart lock and like all the diaries, you put the lock in, you twist it, and it opens. So you can open the diary. Give me the lock and the keys. Lock and the keys. I always give the keys and lock to her because I will lose them. Like my last diary. We do not speak of that, though. <laughs> so the pages have little foxes in the corner. That's like really like, cute. They're lined as well. I like it. And the gel pen. Let's Get a... <laughs> it's like a neon orangey color. kind of, kind yeah. of color. That's cute though. So it comes with a pen and the pen goes right in here because it has like a little loop-de-loop -loop to put it in. So we'll put that there. And the I next mean, item. The next item is that next item is not a pamphlet. It is Another pajamas. Of course, it's nice a fox. And warm. So this is we got from the fox. If section. you dream it, you can do it. Oh, like and it that. has little pockies, so you can put your hands in and stay warm. And then the pants as uh, well. They have a bunch of little foxes doing different things on the pants, which reminds me of my old purple fox pants, and they were all doing yeah. different things. And uh. Down a fox cup with with bath bombs inside, and they are metallic -y bath bombs. Same with like the cover here. There, it's like a metallic -y rose gold. I like it. it also comes with a cover to cover the straw, so no bugsies get inside. And the cup comes with a little uh, fox ears, and the straw's pink. I gotta see. And it has glitter flowing around it, like my Jeez. watermelon cup. That sadly has a crack in it, but it still works. Um, so that's 
this one. I'm wondering how the bath bombs smell. I hope they smell good. And then the last item in this bag is my birthstone with the color, which is, it's really cute. It's called Topaz. It's Topaz. A cute little with, choker. It comes with a choker and another choker with the color of Topaz and a little snowball. And they do move around because it is like the glitter. I think that's it in that bag. And then we have then the last Justice the last bag. The last Justice bag Wait, is... Nope, 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 nope. nope, nope. nope. There is something else in this nope. bag that she totally forgot. Well, I didn't even see this. So this is Spread the Sparkle Sparkling Strawberry Bath Dust. And it smells exactly like Victoria's Secret's Love Spell. But now, like, it's gone away. Now it does smell like strawberries. But I can still smell it. So, so One there. scoop. One it's scoop in the All bath. you need. No more, no, no less. Unless you don't like the smell to be that strong. But all you need to do is fill up the scoop and that's it. No more, because then you will probably die of the smell. And it's really cute. It comes with a little scoop attached to the bag. And it comes on like a ball chain. So once you empty out the bag, you can throw the bag away and keep the scoopy scoop. And again, it has foxes on it. So now we're on to the last, last Justice yes. bag. Yes. And this was what we originally we went, went there for. <laughs> we went for this one. And this was the last one they had to bring out from the back because they didn't have any out in like in the actual store. And it is a llama corn. Well, an alicorn that's a llama because a horn and wings is a alicorn. Yes. Not a, a llama corn because if it was, it won't have wings, but that's okay. <laughs> it's big, it's squishy. It's The fur is very soft and it's like, it's a galaxy. Look at them legs. Look at them short, stubby legs, like a this corgi. Is, this is a lot bigger than my other llama that I have on my bed. And it's in the fan because it's hot now. So we're going to have this right here. I, I, it doesn't fit on the chair. <laughs> so that's all the justice stuff that we got. Next door is Disney. Well, tell them what you did at the Disney store today. Okay, so I have it in my bag. So uh, um, my bag's on my bed. So when we went there, we went to the Disney store before opening time. And when you go there before opening time, which is around 11, if you go there before 11 and you wait a while and you're the first one there, you get to open the lock to the store. They had this big key that looks like a keyblade. <laughs> and you take it and they put it in the lock and you turn it. And when you do, the things drop and the stores open. The lights, the music starts playing. It's, it's pretty cool. It's really nice. And then they like, and then once you do that, they give you a little mini replica of the key and a sticker. Let me go get it. She'll be right back to get it. We were not prepared for that part. <laughs> Until she mentioned it. So... Here's what they give you. They give you a sticker for helping out. And also, if there are other people there that didn't open the, the lock, they'll give them a sticker, too, for helping out. But when you do, you have to turn the lock. And when you do, they give you a mini key replica. This is how the key looks. looks Except like key a blade. lot bigger. It is. It's really big. It's like the size of the key blades that they um, send out. For you to like to decorate whatever your bookshelves and stuff like that. It's really big and heavy. It's pretty heavy. So they have the two people put it in and then you when the other person's holding it up, you get turn it. Yeah. So, so this has some weight to it as well. Really? I didn't feel it. Oh yeah. So this is definitely going on our Christmas stream. So yes. So, now, what did we get? We got a tote. What didn't we get? <laughs> We got some things, so I'm going to first start off what's wrapped up in the paper. Which is really cute. It's super cute. I love it a lot. Which is something that me and her, we collect a lot of. Yes. We'll probably do we don't really use all of them. We'll we do, just collect them. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll do a collection tour. This in this paper is a mug. Can't it's go wrong with having a whole bunch of mugs. Yes, and it is Mushu from Mulan and inside the cup it says dragon not lizard I don't do that tongue thingy inside the cup 
It's this. really cute. I have to take off the sticker though. Dang it, now they're sticky. Why do they do that? It's okay, I'll take the sticky stuff off. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, look at this. So it's also pretty heavy. It's heavier, I think this is like the heaviest mug I own. This is the heaviest mug she owns. <laughs> um, it's pretty heavy. It's very cute. It's a tall cup, and again, yeah, the thing is pretty far, so you, your hand isn't touching the thing and like burning it all. It's, <laughs> it's cute. It has the Disney thing in the bottom that's covered by the price tag and stuff like that, but yeah, it's a cute mug. What else did we get from the Disney store? We got a deal. We did have a deal. They have a deal where you buy... Um, Except I think it's the Wreck-It Ralph and um, I think Venom that yeah. you can't do it. But all the stuff plushies there, you buy one and you get the second one for $3. Which isn't bad considering that some of them are in the $20 ranges. And, you know, especially when you, if you have two kids, it's a great deal. So, Show them what we got. Paper! No, we did not get the paper. <laughs> the paper was free. So we got Stitch! And, and Bitch needs a friend, so we got Angel! They, the quality is so nice. They're so soft. They smell like the Disney store. Smells like yeah. hope. Like hope. <laughs> like imagination. Imagination. So this is Angel. Angel has a little white heart on her chest because she's a girl, duh. And <laughs> then we have Stitch. With this little tuff of hair on top. His little yes. mohawk yes. fluff. The ears are so floppy. Her ears are floppy too. Yes. I think her ears are bigger than his. Now, excuse me while I grab so. the rest of the bag. They're so soft. We cannot soft. reach. They're like really good quality. And I don't know which one was the $3 one. I think it was Angel that was a $3 one. I don't know. Probably was, but... I wish I got the cassette tape. It looks like a cassette tape, but it isn't. It's a notebook, and it was the goofy movie thing. I really hoped we. Yeah, it looks like the VHS cover, like those bulky old school covers. <clears throat> yes. I have a couple of them. I love. We them. do. It's very. I have Oliver's and Company, Peter Pan. No, well, I lost the other one. <laughs> and moving. <laughs> so yeah. They're so soft. They're so the them. last store that we went to is actually so that um I went to get something for me. Um I am a huge bookworm. And if you guys want to see how my bookshelves are and the books that I have in my bookshelf, comment down below. So I went to Dollar Tree. And I know what you're saying, Dollar Tree books. You'd be amazed what kind of books you find at Dollar Tree. And a so lot of them are really interesting. And at Starbucks. So I'm probably going to mispronounce a lot of stuff. So the first book I have is War God, Return of the Plume Serpent by Graham Hancock. Hancock. Ooh, there we go. And it goes, Cortez expects that the Talascanian's hereditary enemies of the Aztecs would join him, but instead finds himself locked in a deadly struggle as Cortex risks all against the Talascanian's he plays mind games with the Mokzetsums. I am butchering all these names. Please forgive me. Aiming to defeat the Aztec's empire psychologically before having to face him in battle. So, it's funny because there's a sticker behind it that says Canada's price. $15.99. And I got it for a dollar. And it's in really, really good condition. This is Bear. Meet Bear. Yes, that is Bear. <laughs> Nickname is Potato Axe. All right. So the next book I got is The Gin and Chowder Club by Nan Rosatier. Rose and it's about the friendship between the Coleman and the Shepherd families is as old and comfortable as the neighborhood houses they occupy each summer on Cape Cod. Samuel and Sarah Coleman love those warm months by the water. The evening spent on their porch enjoying gin and tonic, good conversations, and homemade clam chowder. Here they've watched their sons Isaac and Isa grow into fine young men and watched too as Nate Shepherd's aching with grief at the loss of his first wife finally found love again with the much younger Noella. Ooh, so yeah, this sounds really good. These are strawberry scented. I was eating uh, a tag, a tag of strawberry scented. This then, is different from my last one. This one has like the 
wrapped in one big thing. They are not individually. The next book I got is called Untame, a toughless novel by S.C. Steffens. And it says, being a bad boy basis for the world's hottest bands has earned Griffin Hancock some perks, a big house, a fast car, and more importantly, his incredible wife, Anna. The one thing it hasn't brought him is, is the spotlight. Anna tells him to be patient, that his talent would win out. But Griffin is through waiting for permission to shine. Without warning, Griffin makes a shocking decision and takes the gamble of a lifetime. Suddenly, he's caught up in a new level of lights, camera, and chaos, one that pushes his relationship with Anna to its limit. Anna has always found his un unpredictable behavior sexy, but lately, he's seen, he's seen in an ache in her eyes, and it has his soul in knots. Just as the recognition Griffin seeks is finally within reach, the thing he loves most in life could be slipping through his fingers. Ooh. And I think this is part of a series, which if it is, I have really bad luck with buying books that belong to series without knowing that they belong in a series. And then she never reads them. Because I don't like reading a book unless I have all the books in the series. And that one has like a little dent on it, but hey, it's a dollar. The next book I got is The Relic Guide by Edward Cox. And it says, it was said the labyrinth had once been the great meeting place of sprawling cities at the heart of an endless maze where a million humans hosted the houses of the Elphir. But when the Termaturgius, ooh, I am butchering that, overlord of humans and Elphir alike, went to war, everything was ruined, and the labyrinth became an abandoned prison. The surviving humans were trapped behind boundaries, walls, a hundred feet high, and all magic was forbidden. And now the war is returning. The relic guide are all that stands against the end of the city, but they are old, scattered, and weak, and the enemy is growing in strength. Ooh, that's like really amazing. And again, it's a little damage on the front, but it's okay. And all these books are a dollar. This is what Mr. Sand this is what the Sandman uses to put you get to put people. Uh the next book I got is called After the Zeb after the devastation comes the war. It's called Devastation. I cannot pronounce the last name, but the first name is Gloria. And I'll just, so you guys can see the last name, because I am not going to butcher that. It goes, Earth's population has been decimated by disease and natural disasters. And those who rem remain live in dome cities, sealed off to prevent the spread of further devastation. In 18 days, there will be a bloodless virtue virtual war between the few remaining world powers with the winner to take possession of the only place on earth still safe to live on don't a remote top tropical island in the pacific 14 year old corrigan was born for this moment quite literally convinced conceived in a test tube by federation scientists and raised outside the reach of humans touch he has been genetically engineered and conditioned to be the perfect virtual warrior he has quick reflexes, re reflexes, physical superiority, and high intelligence. But Corrigan has never met a real-life human being. Enter the beautiful Charlotte Corrigan's teammate for the battle. She's bold, she's rebellious, and she's about to show Corrigan all that the Federation has been keeping from him. Ooh, and I'm pretty sure this is part of a series. And it's actually in really good condition. There's more books. More books. Are you seriously combing me with a key? Yeah, look, it works. Uh, the next book I got is The Grim Company, Sword of the North by Luke Skull. And it says Luke Skull. Oh, nope, it's in here. My bad. As Deverus Cole and his former companions were quick to discover, the white lady's victorious liberation of Dormina has not resulted in the freedom they once imagined. Anyone perceived as a threat has been seized and imprisoned or exiled to dark regions, leaving the white lady's rule on challenge and absolute. But the white ladies would be wiser not to spur her, her former supporters. Emiral the half-mage has learned of a race of immortals known as the Fade, and if he cannot convince the white ladies of their existence, all of humanity will be in danger. Ooh, I love it. The last bag nope. I forgot about. Oh, one more book. Book. I got one more book. I got one more book. Foxy. If I can get it out. Now, this is a romance uh, book that I 
am collecting this series of and it's um the dark it's the dark series from christian feehan and this one is the dark carousel i don't like buying my romance books in hardcover i don't like buying hardcovers in general but I you get what you get the book, the book has and died. this one is really like really damaged but it's a dollar and i still love it and the whole dark series is pretty much takes place in the corruption mountains in europe and there's a species of corruptorans and it's hard for them to find their mates and when they do find their mates it's hard for them to have babies and that's where i'm gonna end it because it's gonna get a little weird but it's a really good romance if you're into like whole not like twilight vampire or like uh true bloods it's kind of um, more dracula kind of feel to it it's kind of like dark and i love it so she has one more bag and then we'll end the video yeah so this bag i forgot about it when i went to go get the key i remembered it so i brung it so um this <laughs> Salt shakers, because what's in this bag is related to slime. So for the activator, got some salt shakers. Glass. Yep. And this is all a dollar, because it's a dollar cheap. I got two glues for a dollar. I never tested this brand. It's probably very liquidy, but this is the... It is what it is. Yep, and it worked. And I didn't think that they had official brands, but they do. And this is Crayola glue. This is the only Crayola glue I could find there. And it is the, I, that is a tube. It had it's a weird tube. It's like you twist this cap off. Oh, that's cool. It has like a nozzle and a plug of some sort. And then I got shaving cream. Yay! So. I'm new here, so if you want to see my books or you want me to tell you more about my book, show you my bookshelf, or you want to see more of Crafty Foxy Nam and her slime stuff, comment down below. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.